Greetings, true believers. Greetings, Spice Lord, Spice fans. It's your old pal, Spider-Man, and this is my lovely assistant, Amber. And we are going to do another box opening for you. This is the Heatonist Hot Ones September uh, subscription box. Uh, I've had it for about a week, so again, we're just a tad late getting it out there, but we uh, finally got around to uh, doing it. So Yay. here we go. Um, I have not seen these sauces at all. I have no idea what to expect I have from delicious. them. Um, she cheated and looked at somebody else's picture or something. Reddit! Saw what they were. I love Reddit. Um, so again, we got our little card here. It tells us about the sauces. Uh, we've got our cute little sticker here says oh, hot one season 10 with the x on it for the 10 and the uh yeah got a dabbing chicken and we got our heatness sticker as always yes. um so this will tell us a little bit about the sauces and then it's got some uh, fun stuff on the back so the first one is going to be oh these are Season 10 sauces. I was expecting not season 10 sauces. No, they're all new. So uh, this is good. Um, I really thought since season 10 just started, I thought we were going to have uh, not season 10 sauces in between because the last box we got was the final sauces from season 9. And so I kind of thought we were going to go, we were going to skip the season sauces and do something completely different. Uh, but I'm so excited now that I see this. So uh, this is Heartbeat Hot Sauce, mm. Pineapple Habanero. This is the number three sauce in the lineup. Um, let's see, what are the ingredients? Pineapple, number one, yellow peppers, onion, distilled vinegar, habaneros, organic cane sugar, lime juice, kosher salt, garlic, ale. Mm. It's got beer in it which is water, hops, malted barley, yeast. Okay, so the last ingredient is beer, so that's interesting. Oh, um, beer. A lot of stuff in here before we get to any peppers, so this one should be pretty mild. And it is the number three sauce, so uh, we'll see how we get. You didn't remove the one thingy? I know. Yeah. I know, I let you do it still. <laughs> Set me up for failure. Yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? Alright. I don't know why I thought it wasn't gonna be sealed. <laughs> Alright. What? You want more? Yeah. 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 We'll be consistent, we'll give you that much for all of them. Okay. Mm, that smells really good. It smells really like peppery. Like I mean like bell peppery. Yeah. Like earthy peppery. That's what I smelled most mm. of all, was the yellow peppers and a hint of the pineapple. And I got the, like a tang, citrusy tang. Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet. Like the pineapple isn't like super pronounced, but it's there. Mm. Um, but this is just a really good sauce. Um, not super hot, the heat goes away pretty quick. It gets hot for like a second and then it kind of starts going away. Um, but man, I'm gonna try that again. It's really good. <laughs> it really does have that really uh, yellow peppery, like almost like a, like if you bake a pepper, like for stuffed peppers. Yeah. That's kind of what that smell is. What did you think it would be good on? Chicken wings. Duh. 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 <laughs> um, this is probably good on fish. That's what I was thinking too. Like seafood, because it is mild enough, but yeah. it has a good heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. Next up, uh, Torchbearer sauces. Oh. This is one of your favorite brands. I know, but they are rough. Uh, so this is the number five sauce. Um, which in season ten, uh is a new thing because season nine and before that, the number five position was always Los Calientes. 
So they've kicked Los Calientes down to number four. And so they've made room for more heat oh. in the upper range. So this is the new number five. Uh, it is called Headless Horseradish Sauce mm. and has ghost pepper in it. So let's see what else is in here. Ingredients, horseradish, ghost chili pepper, garlic, canola oil, water, chipotle peppers, lemon juice, distilled white vinegar, Dijon mustard, horseradish powder, salt chili powder, and black pepper. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I've had one yet. I don't think I've had a hot sauce yet that has had horseradish in no, it. Yeah, I can't think of any that you have that so have horseradish. It's gonna... That smells weird. It's different, yeah. Way different. I'm trying to... There's something... There Definitely the horseradish is there. I'm trying to figure out what else I'm smelling. Mustard. That's what I thought I was smelling. Was there mustard in it? I don't remember. Oh yeah, Dijon, Dijon. mustard. That's yep. Yeah, that the Dijon mustard. That's yeah. yeah. That's what I was smelling. You asked for it. Fuck. Told you I was giving you the same amount every time. I know. I thought we were lying. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we lie to ourselves? Myself every day. <laughs> mm. It's much tastier than I thought it was gonna be. Mm. Almost has like a wasabi Ooh. kick. That ghost pepper kick at the end is strong. Mm. Like the horseradish is there right at the beginning, and I don't taste any heat, and then you swallow it. And, and then, then the, ho the horseradish Ooh. flavor goes away, and then the heat from the ghost peppers kicks in. And that's mm. actually pretty good, pretty strong. That would be um, excellent on a steak sandwich. I was thinking like a hamburger. Like put it on a hamburger yeah. or just on a steak would mm. be really good. Um, this would be a good addition to your Bloody Marys. I know. Torchbearer does good at that. The other one that you like in Bloody Marys is the Torchbearer yep. too. Mmm, that one's really good. Oh, especially with the horseradish and a Bloody Mary. Yeah. Right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I think that would mm. go really well. Next one. This one has the Las Calientes right, so, in it. Okay, so this one is the number five. Uh, these don't list the Scoville ratings on them, so I'm going to have to go online and look those up um, so we can talk about those later. Um, accidentally healthy, intentionally delicious is what it says. It has canola oil in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one is Karma Sauce Company Burn After Eating. This one's gonna be so real kind of a, a little pun off of uh, Burn After Reading. <laughs> uh, this is the number nine sauce. So uh, we're, I don't want as much as you. we're kicking it up. Um, this is the sauce in the lineup directly after the bomb. After? This is the one after the bomb. But it's it cold. <laughs> I just want to dab that one. You cannot give me like a whole bunch. I give me the same amount. No. That's what we said. Please, no. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to try more of the other ones, but no. <laughs> All right, so Ugh. ingredients here. Pepper, pepper, and more pepper. Mm, no, first ingredient is brutally hot peppers. Okay, so pepper. Brutally hot peppers. White vinegar, garlic, salt. Uh, what is that? Ajwan seed. Huh. Angkor. Hing powder, which is rice flour, gum Arabic. I can't pronounce that. Mm, and turmeric and ginger extract. So this one's got some weird things that I've never seen before. Um, so we will see. Oh, hmm. you put Willie. Mm -hmm. You just noticed Willie. Hi, Willie. So yes, we do have some Halloween decorations up. Um, still got a long way to go. Yeah, Halloween decorations. <laughs> 
your dolls are not that green. <laughs> they're there a lot. <laughs> well, but they're out more prominently. Gotcha. It's definitely got some heat in there. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh-uh. I only want half as much. There's some other stuff in there, but I can't really... can't really tell what it is. I think this one's a little... Yeah, this one's thicker. All right, here's the number nine sauce. So right in between the, the bomb. bomb and the last dab. Okay. Ready? No. Woo. Woo. <clears throat> Interesting. Very interesting flavor. I don't know what I was Way tasting. Different. I don't know what that was when it first hit my tongue. I was trying to figure out what I was tasting. Now, honestly, I don't really know. <sighs> Whew. Swipe it's off. got, like I said, it's got so, like some spices in here, like some Indian spices. It's called karma sauce. Um, so Whew. it's probably got some Indian spices in here that I've never heard of or never tried before. So that's got to be what I was. Uh, tasting. But that's a really good, just like kicked up heat sauce. It's got some good flavor. Uh, what'd you think of the flavor? Kind of odd. Yeah. Yeah, I got to never really taste. Yeah. Just different. Like something that I've never had anything like that before. Um, definitely has some heat though. Um, but it goes away pretty fast actually. Yeah, it's already, it's already on its way down. Um, but it ramped up there pretty good. Yeah, it did. Um, that's Ooh. that's gonna be a uh, got me sweaty. I was gonna be a kicking Ooh. hot wing when we do this. Ugh, not as bad as the bomb though. Ugh, the bomb was the worst. I don't know. This one, this one's got some heat. The bomb was terrible. I can never do that one again. You're going to? I know I am, but I'm gonna try to deny it. <laughs> All right. So that is the first box uh, for season 10, season uh, which 10. season 10 uh, just started last week. Shia LaBeouf was the, um, LaBeouf. Um, excuse me, he was the season opener. And then Ashton Kutcher, it was on today's episode. Uh, just watched that, pretty good episode there. Did you um, know his real name's Christopher? No, I did not. It is. The more you know. Well, thank you for being a trivia hound today. Today? Yeah. Every day? Every day is trivia day, right? Um, so really good sauces. Really looking forward to the season. Um, we've got some stuff to catch up on. So we've still got to do our wing challenge for season nine. Uh, since we have all the wing, all the season nine sauces now. Uh, we've also got a couple other things in the works for future videos. We got the Pocky one chip challenge. Gonna suck. And then we've also got the toe of Satan suckers. To, I think uh, I will die if I do that one though. Possibly. Um, see if we can handle that challenge. Um, so that'll be uh, upcoming videos. Hopefully we'll be able to get them out a little bit quicker than we have the last couple. Um, I suck. But uh, we'll see. So uh, we'll have fun with them. Yep. And you'll sweat. I know, even more. Woo. <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll see you guys around uh, again. If you got any uh, comments for us, put them below. Let us know what you want to see, if there's any challenges you want us to do. Yeah. Um, and what you uh, what you like seeing from us. So we'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you guys on the Shaving Cadre forum if you're joining us there. And otherwise on YouTube. See you later, guys. Boop.